guys today i want to do a quick unboxing and a review for this jjc tp s1 so this is basically the clone version of the sony uh, vlogging grip for the sony cv1 jjc called this the shooting grip with wireless remote so let's go ahead and open up the box and the instructions might prove to be helpful because we actually have to do the bluetooth pairing with the sony cv1 it comes with a Eh, okay, decent sized bag. Uh, hand strap is always useful. I love these hand straps. I have like a ton of these. Okay, let's we'll open it up. We're gonna pop this out. And we have the hand grip. First impression is this little plastic key. But overall, I like that this is really solid. I should fold it out. That's pretty good. So yeah, let's go ahead and mount this up on our camera and then we're going to go out into the world and test this out. This is going to be my campsite for the night. So attaching the grip onto the camera is super straightforward. Literally twist it on, super easy. And we can be honest here, this is a clone of the original Sony version, but at half the cost, around $65 on Amazon. And I've been seeing mixed reviews on Amazon, ranging from this sucks to it's okay, that's the job. I have yet to seen rave reviews as to say, oh, this is the best grip ever. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and you know, walk you through, starting from the build quality to some of the functionalities that you're gonna get to some of the quirks that I'm seeing after using it for a day. At the end, I'll give you a conclusion as to what I think about this mini tripod and if this tripod is worth the $65 that is marked at. So let's start with build qualities. Holding the grip in my hand, uh, you can definitely tell that this is ABS plastic. The fit and finish, I would say, is subpar. You actually see gaps coming out on both sides and the second part i don't like about this and you can probably already tell is there's a gap no matter how hard i try to close this tripod it would not close i think this is a manufacturer defect for sure if you have a bit of an ocd like me this thing just it's super annoying i do like the fact that it does have a nice rubberized grip which helps when you're holding on to this as a vlogging tripod it does help know with handling and control yeah i wouldn't say this is a deal breaker but it's pretty close the hand grip feel so if you have like a medium sized hand like mine um, you'll be able to comfortably hold this if you have a smaller hand you might have a hard time gripping onto the whole thing um, so just just keep that in mind um, the grip is somewhat comfortable and the rubberized grip again adds to the control so although as sturdy as you can hold this tripod in your hand you would think that this is going to be a great use for vlogging, but it actually isn't. And the main reason is the fact that there's a lot of play. This allows you to adjust the angle, which I think is an amazing feature, but at a cost that there's tiny gaps between each notch. When you press down the button, you can adjust it like this. And in between each adjustment, there's tiny little bit of gap. You see this play in the joint? This is no good for walking. If you're walking, this thing just keeps wobbling around. And you may think that, oh, just a tiny gap down here doesn't matter. Well, it actually does matter because it exponentially compounds the amount of movement up top. So you can actually see my camera is moving quite a bit. So if you imagine you're walking and doing like walking vlogging shot, this tripod that you're holding is actually introducing additional shake where it should have been tight. And this button allow you to turn and spin again. It's a nice feature, but it also has a little bit of play. So in combination of the up and down and also horizontal movement, you now have a lot of play wiggling around. If you're someone that wants to use this as a tabletop tripod and not really a vlogging grip and just have it sit there, it's fine. It's great, it works just fine. But if you want to use this as a walk and talk type of grip, this is something that you are going to see and feel and it might potentially ruin your shot. Okay, moving on to functionality. So the main two functionality of this is number one, you can use this as a handheld grip and also a tabletop tripod. We've already gone through that. Number two, 
is the main feature, which you can use this as a remote. So this remote is detachable. And just to let you know on JJC's website and also on Amazon, they do sell this separately. So you don't have to buy the whole grip. I think it's $29 uh, just for the remote itself. It is nice that you can actually fit the remote snugly within the grip itself. So this whole thing together is just like one item. So you never forget about bringing the remote. So the Bluetooth connection I was easily established with my Sony ZV-1. I didn't have much too much trouble. I just followed the instruction and took me about two minutes to get this done. So it's been pretty stable so far. So I've also seen complaints on Amazon about the stability of the Bluetooth. I disagree. Mine has been really stable so far. I don't see any issues there. As soon as I turn on the camera, the Bluetooth connection is established and it just works. So let's talk about the remote itself. On top, you'll see an LED light and this allows you, this is basically your tally light. So if you press record, for example, yep, you see this light turns on. And this tells you that this is actually recording. And this is such a great feature, I love it. And you press this to stop the recording, super simple, very straightforward. You also have your, your zoom here and you can actually set this to either be your focus or zoom. And I don't see why you want to use this for your focus. So I'm always going to have this on your zoom. So let me just show you. There's a switch at the back here that tells you you can either switch to zoom or focus. And so all you need to do is press this and you're zooming in. And then you press it, you zoom back out. Works as expected, no issues there. And then the down here is the C1 button. The C1 button is the same as the button that you set up top here. Um, so right now I have it set as background defocus mode. So when you hold down this, it's the same as you holding down the button. This is your AF on button. I don't really use this to be honest. And last but not least is your center button. And so this center button is basically your shutter. Now I do have some complaints about the shutter button. The shutter button, I would say, is a little too sensitive. There are people chasing turkeys over there. Let me show you. If you're holding onto the grip like this, you could easily accidentally hit the shutter button. And it's so sensitive, just like the lightest touch will trigger it or stop it. The good news is that on the side, you can actually lock this button. So by pressing on the left hand side, you press it up, you actually lock the shutter, you lock all the buttons. So once you start recording, you can lock it. Oh yeah, one last thing on the remote is that you have the option to do movie or still. Um, this works if you are under intelligent auto mode, for example, um, then you can actually just switch to still and it will take photos. If you do half press, it will autofocus. And if you do a hard press, then it takes the photo. Switch it over to the movie mode. It will switch over to recording mode and actually even half press is gonna cause it to record. So that is, some weird thing that's happening there. Okay, final conclusion. So overall, do I recommend the JJC logging grip? Unfortunately, I do not. There are a lot of things that works okay, but the downside of this grip outweighs the benefits of having it. So from the build quality issue that you see, including the amount of play that you have at each joint to some of the weird quirks on the actual remote in movie mode for $65. It is a tempting replacement for the more expensive Sony version. But at the end of the day, I think you do get what you paid for. I will be returning this grip to Amazon because I'm not happy with the build quality nor the functionality. Anyway, I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you still want to buy this grip, I will include the Amazon link in the description below. Thank you for so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Take care and have a wonderful day.